Konnichiwa, my name is Juju Bunny, and um, it's been like several years since I came back from Japan, so that's why I'm making this video if I put it up, uh, if anyone cares. I don't know. I know a lot of people watch my videos, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, obviously, I dyed my hair actually recently. This is my natural color with the tips dyed purple. I had it all purple for a while. Um, so, yeah, what did I want? Um, okay, so first of all, I am obviously not in Japan anymore. Uh, I intend on going back maybe next year, maybe uh, two years from now as a college student. Um, and so maybe I'll post new things then if I still know how to do YouTube videos. This is probably terrible quality. I'm shooting it on my phone, so I just want to apologize for that. And uh, my lights are changing because it's color changing lights. I don't know. I'm real late. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know what I want to turn this channel into, if you really like the Japan videos, I can do, uh, Americans try Japanese food, uh, like snacks that I can find in the U.S., um, not sure what else, I don't really have any more footage from Japan, I'm the worst, <laughs> um, but I do speak Portuguese like I mentioned in my intro video, so maybe I can do something like that. Like, um, maybe I could, uh, translate all my videos into Portuguese to the best of my abilities. Um, uh, se vocês gostam dessa ideia, por favor, um, me mande uma mensagem. Um, espero que vocês podem me entender, porque o meu português não é perfeito. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want me to speak in Portuguese, do a video in Portuguese, um, anything like that, I can totally do that. Hopefully my Portuguese is understandable. Let me know down below. Um... Oh, sorry, my phone was falling. Um, yeah, so I can do some different kind of videos. I can just talk about my life. I can do some... I'm not very talented. I don't know. I don't know what else I could possibly do. Um... Okay, so another idea that I kind of... I have a few ideas um, for things that I can talk about uh, concerning Japan that I can do now in America and some of them is uh, involving my exchange program because I know that a lot of people asked about um, how they can get involved and how they can go like somewhere uh, while they're still in high school without um, having to pay a lot of money and I went through the Rotary Youth Exchange Program which is a really good program and um, I know some tips and tricks that I can help you with. Uh, a lot of the countries do have language requirements. Um, I know for a lot of European countries you have to take the language for two to three years before they'll let you stay there. Um, other countries like Japan, they have no language requirements and you can just go, which is exactly what I did. Um, so I can give you some tips and tricks on that. I also have a rotary jacket which is covered in pins from all around the world and like different things that I picked up while I was overseas. So I can also show you that and walk you through um, my jacket in another video if you want. And I can also do something um, for homesickness or reverse homesickness, which I had never heard of before I came back from Japan. But it's essentially when you um, go to a country and then you stay there for a while and you come back and everything feels foreign to you even though you may have lived there your whole life. So um, that was something I had to deal with and I can definitely um, give you some tips and tricks that were given to me by other exchange students, um, by my teachers, by my people that I met in Japan, my family, all that stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Last thing, I promise. Um, I just want to hear from you guys, what could I turn this channel into? Is there anything that you want to hear me talk about? Is there anything that you want me to do? Because I'm open to anything. I think it's really fun reading the comments and I'm hearing from all you guys and I swear I will find my camera and uh, stop recording on this because I have no idea how this is going to look. Um, but also I have a Japanese, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> I'm a mess. A bucket list that um, I made when I was in Japan because I spent very little time in Tokyo. Um, but I do have plenty of stories actually about when I went to Tokyo, Disney, and um, there was an earthquake while I was there. It was crazy. Um, so I do have like some story times that I can do if you guys are at all interested in those. Um, I can teach some uh, very, very basic Japanese phrases for beginners, which can always be good if you're going there for fun or just for a little while. Um, 
so yeah comment down below anything everything you feel you know i want to hear from you guys i think you guys are awesome um and yeah thanks bye